No, first place more than Savior Jesus Christ. No, it's just, you know, just next day, you know, the sun comes up the next day. Uh, you know, you just continue to move on and get better. And, uh, you know, the good thing about the NBA is you always get another game, you know, the next 24 hours. So, um, you know, we were able to just put that game behind us. We knew we didn't play the way we were capable of playing. And uh, we want to be a lot better tonight because, you know, Phoenix is a, is a hot team. A couple guys mentioned, you know, this breakfast meeting uh, where, where Scott uh, kind of got on you guys. What did you take out of it? That, for sure. That's, that's probably the first time he's done it all year. And uh, it was definitely well needed um, for everybody. You know, he was, was definitely a point of emphasis, um, you know, just in winning games and what it takes to win games. And, you know, he did a really good job of teaching and breaking down what he wants, expects out of everybody. And, uh, you know, I think that's, that's what we needed. And, uh, Definitely, we got a good result tonight. He yeah, said he even checked important. himself too. So when a coach does that, I mean, that puts everyone in, in in the same boat together. For sure, you know, it's accountability from the top down. You know, and the coach is able to, you know, he always blames himself first. Um, you know, that's that's just his his unselfish nature that he has. And um, you know, you you want that out of the coach. And uh, but you know, me, I always say it's on the players, and we got to go out and be better and compete. You know, and. Uh, you know, make sure we go out there and get the job done. But, you know, it's on everybody, you know. So, um, you know, it's good that he's holding himself accountable. But, you know, we got to hold ourselves to a higher standard, you know, even more than that. You got a 21-point lead, and they, they got close down the stretch, and then you pulled away again. What was the key there? Defense. Defense, defense. You know, this is uh, – basketball is a game of runs. We know we're going to make a run. They're going to make a run. Um, you know, D-Book's one of their uh, best scores in the league. So, you know, a lead for them is nothing. Uh, so. You know, it's all about getting stops and getting consecutive ones and uh, finishing the game. I know you only see them twice a year, but you guys are uh, teammates in pickup games in LA this summer. Did you pick up on any of his tendencies? Uh, it's crazy because you know I, I like to watch book, you know, and I like to uh, compete against him too, you know, in a way from afar anyway. Um, but he's uh, he's definitely somebody I, I admire. You know, he's he's gotten better every year as a young player. Uh, he's one of the best players in the league for sure, and um, you know he's only going to continue to get better. Uh, but it's, it's definitely, you know, we kind of have similar games almost, you know, and it's, it's definitely, it's definitely cool to see him evolve and my game evolve too, and you know, it's just constantly just going at it. John is like in your ear sometimes during timeouts, things like that. What, what's that conversation like? Uh, he gives me, I mean, I get the point guard's point of view, you know, um, just what he sees, you know, how I can make better reads. Um, you know, if teams are doubling me, like what passes I can make, you know, if I want to avoid doubles, what 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 plays I can call, what decisions I can make. So he does a, he does a really good job of just staying locked in in the games and, uh, you know, giving feedback to everybody, you know, me included. So, you know, I'm always open ears, you know, from from, from John. You know, he's a leader on our team and he's very, he has a huge IQ for the game. So, uh, you know, everything, every time he speaks, I respect it and, you know, go out there and try to, try to execute it. How is that communication different, though, from when you guys are on the court together? It's not any, not any different, you know. It's, uh, it's it's pretty much the same. So, you know, I haven't, you know, he hasn't been out here for a minute, you know. And uh, but when he comes back, it it just be it be the same, you know. Uh, we just pick up where we left off. Uh, I think we just shared the ball on offense, and we really had fun out there. And uh, when the shots were falling, we had a good a lot of good looks. And uh, you know, I think yesterday in Denver, we also had plenty of good looks in the first half. It just didn't go down, and, and tonight everything was falling. So made it a lot easier. Ish told me that uh, Scott Brooks doesn't put guys, put labels on people. And he, he mentioned you in particular where, yes, everyone knows you can shoot the ball, but what people are realizing is, you know, if you get an open lane like you did tonight and you're going to dunk it, like your athleticism is also something that should be noted. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like if somebody's got me that close and uh, and I feel like if I've been shooting way too much at one point, uh, which rarely happens, but yeah, it's like if I see an opening and I see if I can drive, you know, I don't care if I'm gonna get to the rim or not because if I can beat my man, and somebody else is gonna be open after that. Obviously, it's, it's early, but considering how challenging this road trip is, playing yeah, some of the top teams in the league, will this game have a, somewhat of a must-win go to? Uh, you know, any any win feels great right now, and. Uh, you know, we still we still could have done a lot better job on defense, and uh, but I guess if we keep teams to 130 points, we can still win the game.
And uh, but yeah, definitely this was an important game for us, you know, especially in back to back that we didn't we didn't really compete well last night, and then uh, coming back and just playing with energy and uh, and playing good basketball was was really important, and getting a win is even better. How does Ishmith kind of change everything once he checks into a game? Man, he's 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 a hell of a player, you know. He, he comes in with energy. He's hustling on defense, and then once he got the ball, he's already on the side of the court. And uh, I think he's one of the quickest guys in the league, and, uh, and and he's used his speed to get to the rim. And then if he's the first first one down there, you know, the defense kind of collapse, and, and they lose track of some players, and, uh, and he finds everybody great. So, you know, he's, he's been doing a great job this season. Scott said he challenged you guys in the breakfast meeting, and he put a lot of it on himself as well. When you have a coach that challenges you but also holds himself at a higher standard, does it make it easier when you're getting called out? I think it just puts us, uh, you know, that we understand we're all in the same boat. You know, it's not like a coach is on one side and we're on the other side. We're trying to achieve the same thing together, and uh, you know, and, and then him showing that you know he knows that he made mistakes and he can admit those, and you know, there's no no point for players to have any excuses and and just go out there and compete. Your third three of the, the first quarter, did you see Brad celebrating before? Nah, no. all I saw was the basket and the ball going. <laughs> How different is it playing either with the bench unit or at the end of the game with the starters? Uh, I think for me it's not that big of a difference. You know, I'm always ending up in the same positions. And guys are looking for me when uh, when I'm open, and uh, you know, it really doesn't change so much for me. You know, of course, it's it's great to have Brad out there. That you know. The, defense paying attention to him a lot more and then I think everybody else just kind of gets a lot more open looks off of him. Monty Williams had said that people might not know who you are just name recognition things like that and that's how you go off on teams. Um, do you feel that way that people just kind of see your name on the scouting report and just don't pay too much mind? The longer they don't pay attention the better for me. <laughs> that's what I can tell you. Thanks man. Watch the chains. Nah, y'all come. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> you ready? I already talked to him. Screw him. What does it say about this team is to have one night look so drastically different and then next night like world leaders? Yeah, um, I always look at the, uh, the bright side of things. So despite how you know bad we played last night. Um, I kept looking at the scoreboard and we were still in striking this down 11, down 12. Um, so I thought, you know, if we make a little bit more shots, put a little bit more effort. Um, the coach got on us about it um, in our breakfast meeting and I thought we responded really well. And, and I think that's a tribute to who coach is. Um, turn the page, um, next game, uh, he's always talking to us about building our identity and who we, you know, he wants to be and who he wants our team to be. And I thought tonight we responded well. There's been 10 losses this season, but was this breakfast speech different than... No, 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 no. Well, you got to understand, we've lost some tough ones. We lost Houston at the end, San Antonio at the end, probably a lot of, you know, other games. And, and you know, it's 82 games. And so hopefully, you know, the tape is turned a little bit more those games as you uh, continue to go through the season. Uh, but it's a long season. Coach is constantly getting on us, talking to us. Uh, Minnesota was a tough one and last night. You know, he really gave us a speech to kind of you know bounce back. And I thought both players, we did a good job bouncing back. When you checked in, what was your mindset of, of pace, uh, getting your shot, and also on the defensive end? Uh, defensively is something that Coach was kind of preaching on about us to be better at. And I thought you know we had gotten a little bit better. Uh, and then pace, I thought last night in Denver, then play with the right pace, then play with the right energy, then play with the right juice. And I'm talking about personally myself. Um, and you got to kind of set the tone when you're coming off the bench. And uh, whether win, lose, or draw, you can control how hard you play, how fast you play, and uh, how much energy you bring on the defensive end and the effort plays. And, uh, you know, I thought, you know, tonight, you know, we did that as a team and came out with a win. 59 points from the bench. I mean, when Bertans was starting to do what he normally does, what are you guys thinking? Get him the ball, <laughs> get him the ball, and, and kind of manipulating the defense. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and he's so unselfish. So a lot of times, because people don't help off of him, you get a driving lane. So uh, you can help if you want. You're gonna be running back down, and we're gonna be holding up three. Mm -hmm. How um, CJ had been playing those minutes, but how different was it um, having to fill in the, in the gap, but still scoring in bunches? Yeah, well, prayers for him first and foremost. Uh, that's our friend. That's my friend. That's my brother. And, and so we want a speedy recovery. Um, you know, you know, you know, whatever the case is, we pray, we're praying for a speedy recovery in that way. But um, you just got to plug in. Uh, you know, 
Coach always speaks to us about we all getting paid, so we have to step in and fill in. And um, I thought Isaac did a good job. Um, coach mixed it up, put Rui in there, you know, sometimes a little bit with us in that third and fourth quarter. And, um, and we picked up right where we left off and, and kind of continued to put it at that pace. But we're going to miss CJ. Um, but some of we're going to have to plug in and have to step up. Do you think that you have a like, good, like, firm grasp of exactly how to run the second unit now offensively? Yeah, Coach. Um, um, you never have a grab. This is first and foremost. Clarify that you can always get better. Uh, so, uh, but I know what coach wants from me, uh, and so I have to bring that every night. And that's what's been a professional. That's what makes you, all of us, really, really good. You're doing something, you know, consistently every single night. And so, um, I have to do it every night, every night. Um, and if I do that, then you know, and if we do our jobs every night, then put ourselves in a position to win. You already on? Oh, uh, oh no, nah, I mean, we just go out there and uh, we, we play hard. Like I told you before, man, we try to pride ourselves on just going out there playing hard. Uh, second unit has to really move the ball, get after everybody defensively. I think we did a, a, a good job of that tonight. It was like a four-minute stretch there in the fourth quarter where you guys held them scoreless. Do you think that was the really good difference? Uh, yeah, I mean, they got a uh, book. He's a great o offensive player. I think uh, Brad did a great job on him. I think t team defense that we all did good on them. And uh, like you said, that last four minutes, is uh, it's, it's time to win. I think we did a good job. Last night, you guys went 10 for 40 on the three-point line. You start 10 for 11 tonight. Why do you think it was such a, a large finish? I don't think it's nothing you know, special. I think we move the ball, and we try to always get really great shots. And you know we're all pros, and we work on our, our shots every day. And as long as we move the ball, we keep getting those open shots, I think we'll be fine. How does Ish change the tempo when he comes in? It's just too fast sometimes. <laughs> He'd be ahead of everybody else, but I mean, it's good for us, man, because it's when he comes in the game, you know, it, it, it changes. He's, he's getting downhill. Sometimes he can go on five and spray out five DB when our best friends on team. And we need somebody like that to go in and change the game for us. Coach said during the breakfast he kind of challenged you guys, even challenged himself to be better than last night and continue to fight. Was that kind of the message? Yeah, I mean, he just challenged us to play hard. He said uh, last night we didn't we didn't play as hard as we could. He felt like, and uh, he challenged us to play hard for 48 minutes. You know, when you get tired, we, we got somebody else to come in right behind you and uh, give out that same energy.